It's 40 weeks since Michael Geraghty was forced to face up to what his super obesity might cost him. I don't know how the guy's alive. He's massive. He's got this massive guts, just this huge overhang. He tipped the scales at 235 kilos. That's not good. That's the truth. And hid the heartbreak of his wife leaving him for another woman by eating and eating. She left me a note. I didn't tell anyone, didn't, didn't ring anybody. And that was probably the worst day of my life. The journey was riddled with irresistible temptations. I'm letting things get in the way. I'm allowing that to become excuses not to do it. So Michael chose a stomach stapling operation to speed up his weight loss program. I knew there was going to be risks with doing it, but the risks of not doing it are great too. And planned a future with his new love, Hannah. You have your little fantasies as a girl and I always thought that happened to other girls, not girls like me that are a bit hard to handle. And the hope of fathering his own child and living to see that child excuses grow up. Out the door. No more excuses. Now Michael's about to find out if the pain, the dieting and the medical intervention has made the difference where it counts. 180.6. So 180.6. Michael has lost 55 kilos. In the 10 months we spent with him, Michael radically changed the way he lives. I'm into the 180s, which is brilliant. You know, I'm really happy with that. You know, we've come along with some steady weight loss. Wow. That's very good. <laughs> Since having the surgery now, I sort of look at the portion sizes that were there, even through the dieting stage of this, this journey. And obviously, I was overeating. I was putting calories in my mouth. So there is an element that's been about food, obviously. Even though I say that there wasn't before, my view of that is, is obviously not, not, you know, real. 235 kilos, life was a chore, to be honest. Like, although, I, looking back and I say, no, no, it didn't stop me doing things and I did, you know, it didn't get in the way, but it was all constantly about planning and all yeah, you know, worry about what other people think of you and the way that you look as well. In the 10 months we spent with Michael, he survived a harrowing journey. Well, we did it. This year has been tremendous. Just looking back on it, you know, going through the realities of having to look at myself. It's very confronting to be able to talk about yourself and to do these things. This is the new Michael, and he's still losing weight and proud of it. Look, as I've lost weight, I've become more comfortable as well with situations. You know, before people would look at you, point, you know, people with kids would make, the kids would make comments, things like that. You know, I, I don't see any of that anymore. My outlook on food has changed completely. You know, I have no desire to go and have a takeaway meal at all in the evening, and that's incredible. And this day is what Michael's journey has been all about. He wanted to be a father, to be a husband, and today that is sealed. When I look back on it, I can't believe what you know what what I've done in the in the, in the 12 months, getting engaged and then getting married and some looking after the family and everything else. I love Michael because he takes care of me and he loves me. He's my schmoopy. <laughs> and it seems Michael may get his ultimate wish, being father to his own child. I've seen that he's a really good dad. I'd be happy to have a little, little, little Michael and uh, add to our family. The only other thing I want to say is that, you know, Hannah, Kellen and Cohen, I love you all very much. Thanks. Now... With nearly 70 kilos lost in just over a year, this family man is finally getting to try the things he loves and get that sense of achievement he's never had. I was able to physically walk up to the top of the Harbour Bridge, which I wouldn't have been able to do at the beginning of this year. So I just had this wonderful sense of achievement, I guess. It's something that I've actually wanted to do and, you know, I actually achieved it. It's great! I made it! <laughs> a, year in the, a year in the making, but I'm here! 
You know, no diet is ever is easy. You know, like I'd be, you know, lying if I said it was. You know, we had, you know, going through that and doing the exercise. I mean, God, we put in so, so many hours of, you know, physical sweat and exercise, sort of, to to get myself to a fitness where I could actually do decent exercise. You know, and to maintain, you know, heart rate, you know, and those sorts of things. So it hasn't it hasn't been easy, but I mean, it's all been enjoyable. You know, like. You know, I, don't, I love doing the exercise, I love going and doing the walking, you know, I love going and being back and playing golf again and doing those sorts of things and, you know, it's, it's great.